back to kind of independent cinema from um, your initial period in Hollywood. Um, your first film in Italian, <laughs> um, Don't Move, from 2004, directed and starring Sergio Castellito, um, adapted from the book by Margaret Mazzana Mazzantini. Ma Mazzantini. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, you play a destitute woman who becomes involved with a surgeon. Let's take a look at two short back-to-back -back clips from that film. Mm -hmm. That goodbye scene to the dog is heartbreaking. <laughs> Very, because um, I, I don't know how many of you have seen this film, uh, Don't Move, but to me, it, one of the, it was one of the strongest experiences for me working with Castellito in, in this film from an amazing, amazing book from his wife, Margaret Mazzantini. And what this, what this character represents, no, is the, those people that who knows what, who knows why everything goes wrong for them uh, to the point where in that moment, in that scene when she's saying goodbye to the dog, she's very sick, uh, she's losing the love of her life, she's losing her home, she's, she's, she has no family, and she's also have to, she's losing her dog, which is the only family that she has. And that is the saying goodbye to the dog because she cannot confront having a moment of hugging him. Or There is so much pain in, in that human being that for me, that, that was so, such a revolution uh, playing, her name, her name is Italia. And it was such a revolution uh, making, making that film, internal revolution. Because you know there are people in the world, that, many unfortunately, that are in, in a situation like that. It's such a tonal shift to kind of anything that you've been doing um, so far. And in terms of emotionally, but also in terms of body language, like she's so broken down by life and almost kind of your physicality is broken. And you know the times that she's not with Timoteo, she's often alone. And that loneliness is just kind of enca encapsulates everything about her. Mm. What was it like trying to embody that? I felt I was um, like hypnotized by the book. Mm. When I read the book, I felt this character is real. It exists somewhere in the universe. Um, and I just, you know, I, I was like this with him and with his wife. Uh, we even bought the, car the clothes for a character together in, I think, like each sweater was like a le less than one euro. Wow. It was like a, the, the, the cheapest uh, things we could find. Um, I would not shave. I would go around the city like that. I mean, like there was <laughs> a, a lot going on for a few months. I would be there just talking in, in Italian to, all day long on dreaming in Italian because I had to uh, lose the accent because I was playing a, a half Italian, half Albanian. So I had to lose the Spanish accent. So I had to be there uh, many, many hours a day with that teacher. Was the most intense preparation that I've ever had to go through because it's not doing an accent or another language. It's also losing 100% your own accent. <coughs> And I would find people in the street that would stop me and say, I hope, I mean, no, you were doing this. I'm just telling you this life, uh, this book changed my life. I hope you don't ruin it. <laughs> because being Spanish, it was like, uh, when they found out, it was very hard to accept. And so many people in the street would stop me. And it was, I didn't feel bad. I felt like they care about the book as much as I do. So I understand. I would hug them and say, I'm telling you, I'm giving my best because I love this as much as you. Mm -hmm. um, I, I was totally in love with this character and, and with them. It, it, was, it was hard to let it go after. It was one of those times where I, I just didn't know what to do to, to let it go. It wouldn't leave me. And it's hard to explain something like that. It can sound so weird, but... But it's true, it's true. I would just say, no, you have to leave so I can move on with my life. And I had to leave Rome and come back like a few months later. And then I felt that it happened, that I could say goodbye. But it's because of what she represents, mm. what you were saying, of she's so alone when she's not with him. And it's somebody that fell in love with the man who raped her because of like the... the 
the trauma, the trauma that, that the trauma that she had experienced, somebody that had been abused by her own like father. Um, and she cannot see straight and how trauma makes her really believe that she's not worth the love of anybody, not even of that dog, because she's also giving that up. It's heartbreaking mm -hmm. for me. It is. It's an exceptional film. And I can, yeah, I can only imagine that it's someone that you takes a long time to kind of let loose and let go of. You kind of embodied everything about mm. who she was. Mm. Um, the book is also fantastic. Okay. The book is also fantastic. And the, the film the stays book. so true the to it. The book is amazing, yeah.